If you're looking for the best way to upgrade your stream to be more engaging, to add more viewer interaction, to increase followers, subscribers, bits, and generally boost your revenue, then you've come to the right video. And it will take you less than 10 minutes to get set up entirely for free. Today, we are setting up the Sound Alerts tool. Now, we all know what an alert is. An alert is when someone follows, donates, bits, or any other event action a sound and graphic will play on stream. They can be incredibly powerful, but they can also be incredibly difficult to set up when using other common services that aren't ours. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to set up your own sound alerts using any of your own sounds and GIFs, or you can use any of the thousands of sounds provided by the sound alerts community, which by the way, other services don't have the extensive library of gifts and sounds like we do, let alone a tool that'll let you turn any Twitch clip you want or any YouTube video you want directly into a sound alert for your stream, all on one platform, working with any broadcasting software entirely for free. 10 minutes on the clock, let's begin. For the first step, you're gonna visit soundalerts.com and click on streamer login. Sound alerts is also linked in the description. Once you're there, you will log in using your Twitch account and grant it access. The reason you need to grant it access is so the tool and extension can read your event queue to send the actual alerts as they come in. It also needs to be able to manage your channel points, which is something we'll cover later in this video so you can customize channel point based alerts with any cat gif or fart sound you want to help boost your chat engagement. Once it is connected, select your software. Today, we're gonna to be using OBS, but this does work with any streaming software you want. It even has a link here that you can click if you want to see how to connect it with your software of choice. Once you select your software, the next step is to add a browser source to every scene you want your alerts to play in. You can either drag and drop the URL into OBS as seen on screen, or if you want, you can copy and paste the browser source URL. If you are choosing to copy and paste, you'll click add source, browser, and then paste the URL in. Now, rather than adding a new source to every single scene, you'll simply copy and paste this source to every scene you want the alerts to play in and make sure it is at the top of your source list. Otherwise, it might not appear when someone uses an alert. Now, if you have any experience with browser sources, you'll probably want to go change the resolution to match your canvas size. But in this case, it is better to leave it as the default rather than playing around with it. Below the resolution, you'll also see the words Control Audio by OBS. I do recommend checking this and turning it on. This will make a sound alert source appear in the audio source list. From there, you'll want to go to the cogwheel next to this source and go to Audio Properties. Find the sound alert source and switch it to monitor only. This is so that you can actually hear the alerts. Your software should be capturing your desktop audio as well, which means it will pick up the sound alerts as you hear them and send them out to your viewers. If you can't hear it after changing these settings, then make sure you have the correct audio monitoring device selected in your OBS settings. If your audio setup doesn't capture desktop audio, then you'll wanna switch the audio properties from monitor to monitor and output. That way you can hear it and then the stream does as well. Quick note is if your alerts ever stop working, one of the first steps to check them over is to go back into your browser source properties and click on refresh cache of current page. Now you'll click next on the dashboard setup and I will admit the next step is optional, but I do heavily recommend it. And that is setting up the sound alerts extension. The sound alerts extension is a small panel that can be added below your stream so that people can scroll down and click a button and the corresponding sound alert will play for the price that you've set. If you click here on the site, you'll be taken where you need to go or simply go to your Twitch created dashboard, select extensions on the left, and then search sound alerts. You'll click install and then click my extensions and activate it in one of your panel slots or one of your component slots. If you want to customize how the extension looks in your panels or add a cooldown so people can't send too many sound alerts too quickly, you'll go to your settings on the sound alerts page and you can adjust them here as shown on screen. That is it. You're all set up on the technical side. Now we get onto the fun part where we get to add all these fart sound effects, cat gifs, or I guess any other sound or gif that you want to add as well. Now, as I said, there are a lot of different actions or events that can trigger sound alerts. The two main ones people use are bits and channel points, which are sadly for affiliates and partners only. But there are other actions that we'll cover soon that non-affiliates and non-partners will also be able to use. We will also be showing you how to set up sound alerts for follows, subscriptions, raids, and so many other things in a bit as well. Let's start though by adding a fart sound for a price of bits, or I guess any other sound you want to add, I'll allow as well. First, head over to your sound alerts dashboard and click sounds and pick any sound that you want to add. You can also sort by popular or trending. And if you are looking for a particular style, then you can also select from a category. You can click preview to listen to the sound in the browser. And if you like the sound and want to add it, you'll click open. Select the extension and then from here, you'll be able to change the name that will appear for your viewers on your alert. 
You can also set the cost of the bit. Now, an important rule of thumb when it comes to setting costs is that louder, longer, or alerts that you want to happen less frequently should be more expensive. And alerts that are shorter, quieter, or you don't mind them happening often should be cheaper. Once you've picked your alert and you've added it, you'll click my alerts. Select the alert that you've just added. And here you can change the name and price again if you want. You can also adjust the volume or you can make it subscriber only if you want as well, which means only those people who are subscribed to your Twitch channel will be able to use this alert. You can also select an overlay in this section. An overlay is just the GIF or image that appears when someone triggers the alert, which I will cover how to set that up in a bit. But for now, leave it as is, or you can switch it over to default. Now, the important part here is while you have OBS open on a scene with the Sound Alerts browser source in it, you'll want to click play in browser source in your dashboard. This will run a test alert directly from your OBS. If the alert appears and you can hear it, then you're all good and you can continue moving on. Now, if you want to increase your chat engagement and interaction, but you don't want people to have to spend bits on you, a really good way to do that is with channel points. So let's get those set up now. You'll follow the exact same steps that I showed you before, but when you get to this section here, rather than clicking extensions, you're going to click channel points. You'll name the sound and set the price in points the same as you did earlier as if it was bits. The sound alerts tool will now automatically add this to your channel points list, which you can see if you go to your creator dashboard on Twitch, viewer rewards and channel points. If you want to change the volume, overlay, name, price or cooldown, then you'll do the same as before. But when you click on my alerts, you'll then click channel points. So that is bits and channel points all set up. But I promised you guys we have to get cat gifts set up for followers, subscribers and so much more. So let's get on to that right now. I want you to head to my alerts and click on other alerts. Then click create your first alert or add new alert type. You'll then select your trigger. This is the action someone takes to trigger the alert. For now, let's start with a follower. Next, you'll want to select the action you want to happen when someone follows. Obviously, we want a sound to play. So let's start with selecting our sound. Once we have it selected, you can change the volume here as well if you want. Now, if you only want to play a sound, you're all good. You can click save and that is it. Every time someone follows, a sound will play. But you can add more actions to this as well, such as an overlay. If you do want to add a graphic overlay, then you'll click on the overlay button and for now, select default. We will make our own graphic in a second though, so don't go anywhere. You can also add a chat alert. So if someone follows the sound alert bot will write in your chat that they have followed while the alert also plays but this section is totally optional. Once you've added what you want, click the test in browser source to make sure it works again and click save. To set up alerts for other events to subscribers, raids and everything like that, it is the exact same process here, but you'll simply change the trigger. There are a few specific tweaks though for each of these events that I will cover quickly. For example, if you're setting these up for when someone subscribes to your Twitch channel, you can customize it so that it plays when someone subscribes for the first time, but then you can also set it up so a different sound alert plays for when someone resubscribes, as well as turn on text to speech so that resub message is read out nice and loud. This same goes for gifting subs. You can set amounts of gifted to trigger alerts. So for example, five gifted subs might play a bigger, louder fart sound than just say gifting one, which is a short, smaller fart sound. Or I guess, you know, it could be any sound you want from the library. It doesn't have to be farts. And of course, you can also add custom tweaks for the amount of raiders you get, or for the sound alerts to trigger when a hype train starts. If you ever want to edit any of these alerts you set up, you'll go to my alerts, so you'll find everything you need here. Now, these are all awesome ways to increase your engagement and revenue on your stream. But every single streamer I know likes to get custom. So let me show you guys how to set up your own custom alerts using your own sounds. And then I'll show you guys how to add your own custom graphics and GIFs as well, such as cat GIFs. First, head over to your dashboard and click on sounds. Click my uploads and click on create new sound. Here, you can either drag and drop a sound file from your computer, or you can literally copy and paste a URL for a Twitch clip or YouTube video directly into the tool. Once it processes, you can then trim it to be just the audio and just the sections you want rather than the entire clip. I'm going to be turning this clip here into a soundbite for my stream. Seriously, he's going to stand like this? This is really weird. What are you doing? Back, stop walking towards me slowly. Once the clip is processed, trimmed, and added, you'll be able to name the sound, select a mood or category, and then you can choose either to unlist it so only you can use it, or let it be public so anyone on the platform can use it. From there, you click save, and you go to sounds, my uploads, and add it the same as any other alert, event, or sound. Now, so far, this is all awesome. Now, that purple default graphic, it does the job. But let's swap that out for something that fits our personal branding more, it's a bit more fun, and it's a bit more engaging. 
We're going to be doing this by creating and customizing our own overlay to appear using any GIF you want. Specifically, a cat GIF today. And then afterwards, I have one final major tip that I think is really crucial for everyone, so stay tuned. Your first step is you'll go to your dashboard and you'll click on the Overlays tab. Once there, you'll click Add New Overlay. Now, there are templates built in, so you want, you can click that and then select any template to change it up. These are nice, but if you want to add a custom GIF, you'll click Media instead. If you have your own GIF downloaded, you can drag and drop it to here, or you can select a GIF from our library. There are hundreds and thousands of different GIFs, and I wonder what type of GIF I'll add today. I'm sure you won't be able to guess. I want to add a GIF to my why are you walking towards me, stop walking towards me sound alert I showed you earlier in the video. So I'm going to search up cat walking GIF. And yes, this GIF is literally perfect for what I want. Now you can change the name of the alerts here as well as the animation duration. This is how long the alert will stay on screen for. I recommend setting this so it doesn't stay longer than the actual sound you're pairing it with. Then you can set a transition in and out animation. And as you change the length and the animation, this preview next to it will update. So when you change fade to zoom, for example, just wait a bit and the next preview will show what it looks like. Next is your text that goes with the GIF. You can turn it off entirely if you want with this button, but if you like it, then you can pick a font, change the color to suit your branding, and of course, change the layout of where the text is in relation to the GIF. You'll hit save and then head back to the My Alerts section and select the alert you want that overlay you just made to play with. So pick the sound, click overlay, and then pick the overlay you just made, click save, and then of course, test it as the browser source to make sure it works. This process is the same for any alert, except if you want to edit something in other alerts, which requires you to click the alert and then edit the overlay selected and change it out there. Now, I promised you guys we had one final tip that was super important for every single person watching this video, and that is to join the Sound Alerts Discord. It'll find it linked in the description. It is the best place for troubleshooting, for feature requests, and for sharing information and tips with other like-minded creators trying to grow their streams. All of our social media is also linked down there in the description. Thank you for using Sound Alerts. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.